Hi everyone, uh, this is Dmitro, your English tutor. In this small practice video, let's refresh our skills and abilities <laughs> and faculties uh, for such interesting task a Duolingo English test as uh, write about the photo. Pro this is one, like uh, probably one of two or three top hardest, I think, tasks a Duolingo task. Test, I'm sorry, because the main issue is time. We have only 60 seconds, and of course, we bear in mind that when those 60 seconds start, you are agitated and you are excited, you are trying to look at this, like to peer, and you realize that probably you have forgotten some terms or you don't realize what it is actually, and then you see that 10 seconds have already elapsed and you have panic, something like that. Not always, of course, luckily, but... And so, mm, some authors recommend that we try to produce at least two sentences, and some recommend even three sentences. Some geeks favor five or six sentences, but I think let, let them rest um, rest assured that we will not uh, come up with such an amount. You know what I tell you, if you are excited and uh, semi-paralyzed, I think it's it will be a very good outcome if you produce at least two sentences. To produce three, you have to practice a lot. And not only about your English, but about typing on the keyboard, you see? Uh, personally, I can type, but not very fast. So for me, it's basically impossible to produce three sentences. But the good news is that if you produce two normal sentences, you will still have a very high score. It's better to produce two good sentences than to produce three gibberish sentences with multiple mistakes. And we're all dead, yes, so, which is impossible to read. You understand, yes, so. Okay, for example, I've, I have opened randomly one of those real photos. Uh, and uh, you can still encounter it at your Duolingo English test. I will now try to write something within one minute. I haven't prepared beforehand or something. And you please think how you would write about it, how you would describe this image. Remember, please, that my philosophy is that don't pay too much attention to the beginning of your phrase. Like, this photo shows, this photo depicts... Okay, if you love writing, this polychromatic photo depicts or shows, let it be. But remember that the longer the introduction, the less time you have for the gist, for the content of this. Yes, so, please, if you spend half a minute writing this masterpiece at the beginning, and then you write basically nothing clever here, you will be penalized for that, I'm sure. Because uh, any parrot <laughs> you know, uh, uh, can cram by heart some introduction. But no parrot can understand how to produce good result, a good response here. Uh, I mean, yes, to the point. That's why try please to focus upon the middle of your story, not at the beginning. So I don't know actually what it is. It's it looks like an octopus. Here's some entertainment. There is some like fire or smoke and fireworks. Yes, the audience and the dark sky. And I don't know. Like here, probably there are some buildings, I don't know why they're tilted, probably it's the effect of the camera, something like that. And so this I have to write within, let's say, 55 seconds, because while it is starting and so on, so you lose already several seconds. Okay, let's refresh the page and I will try to do it. And you think, please, how you would do it, which is most important. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you see, but uh, I have lost two or three seconds at the beginning, so I think you will forgive me. You see, I have produced, I have produced uh, three sentences, but the the third one is like a limp one. But let it be. In this photo, you see, I didn't spend too much energy on like in this uh, polygonal. 
yeah, we can produce some nice shots like uh, in this polychromatic photo, I think it's possible to discern some ostentatious, but you know, I think you will be too excited to do that. If you have such a level of English that you can afford easily producing such structures, so you don't need those les these lessons because you will describe anything easily. But as is the case with most of you, I think you don't have such a high level of English. So in this photo, ah, by the way, it's preferably here to put a comma. I can see an entertainment talk, entertainment looking like a huge octopus with some apertures, you know, aperture like holes emanating fire and smoke. Well, may I could have written emitting, by the way, but ejecting, emitting, emanating. In the foreground, there is the audience. Uh, with their, oh my god, you see, but it's purely mechanical, I hit the button, but probably I didn't. With their backs turned to the camera, in the background there is a night city, yes, I wanted to say with some uh, skyscrapers, but obviously I didn't have time. If I had some time, and it's night city with, with several, you see, with several skyscrapers uh, that look tilted. It would be even better, yeah? That look tilted because they are not vertical, you see? It's this optical effect, but... So, and now, my friend, you think how you would write about this. Yeah, it's very, very important. You please now, you know what to like to improve your score. You open some notepad or something and move it here, like to cover my creation, that you only see this photo. And now, you please start a timer or something like that. And you now produce your own answer. You can try to emulate my answer, or you can come up with your own idea, it doesn't matter much. There is no one concrete standard and one exact like recommendation, because it's language, it's too rich to fall into those primitive categories of, you know, that you should do like this, or you shouldn't do like that. Okay, remember that you can still face such a creature on your Duolingo, so it's very, very helpful. And I'm sure that this lesson, lesson has been helpful to some of you. Okay, I wish you luck. If you need professional assistance, please contact me. The contact details are in the description to this video. I love you, wish you success, and see you in our next videos.